Hey everyone, welcome to Group 3's SRS presentation. I am Selin Demirler, a bachelor student in Information Systems Engineering at Atul University. Today, we are here to tell you about our project in folios detailed with my teammates Ipek, Doigu, Tuberk and Ali. Our aim is to change the way people discover, enjoy and engage with movies. Based on our experiences, it's challenging to discover new movies and decide what to watch. And this is the point where we come in. By clarifying movie discovery process, enhancing user experience, and offering professional reviews, we believe that it will be lighting up the real world problems. We want to provide you personalized movie recommendations that will guarantee an enjoyable experience. You won't be going through movie titles up and down anymore. We want to customize your film choices. Also, we have utilized the power of NLP to summarize Rotten Tomatoes critics' reviews. It's like having expert analysis at your fingertips. Beside all, we are making movie watching a social experience with the game fight elements to maintain a lively community. From now on, our teammate Duygu will be moving on about our users' characteristics and our funding. Hi everyone, I am Duygu Melekbert from Information Systems Engineering. Uh, I will continue with user characteristics. We will uh, build film for you with three main uses in mind. Cinephiles, these are our passionate movie lovers. They watch, review, and discuss films regularly. They might have favorite genres or directors, and they're always on the lookout for personalized movie suggestions. Uh, film critics and bloggers, these are the experts. They write detailed reviews and are looking for a platform uh, to share their insights and connect with a larger audience. Casual viewers, these users enjoy movies but might not dive deep into every detail. They want easy movie suggestions and a simple platform to guide them. In essence, when you're a movie expert, a casual viewer, or somewhere in between, film for you is designed with you in mind. Uh, let's dive into the funding aspect of film for you. Uh, our primary funding comes from the advertisements we host on our platform. Here, here's how it benefits us and uh, more importantly, users. Development and maintenance. The revenue from these ads is crucial. It allows us to keep improving the platform, ensuring it's up to date and running smoothly. Keeping core services free. Uh, we believe in providing a valuable experience to our users. With the support from our advertising partners, we can ensure that the main features of film for you uh, remain free for everyone to use. Collaboration with advertisers. Uh, we are selective about the ads we display. Our aim is to collaborate with advertisers in a way that's beneficial for them, uh, while also ensuring a good experience for our users. In essence, the advertisements on film for you support our mission to provide a top-notch movie platform while keeping it accessible to all. Uh, now my friend Ipek will continue. Hi, my name is Ipek Dünger. I am a computer and software engineering student at Atılım University. I want to talk, talk about our interfaces in uh, most detail. Uh, firstly, I will introduce system interfaces. We covered it in three parts. First one is user interface. I will explain in detail it um, in the next slide. Second one is data interface. Data interface is uh, used to uh, our system communicates uh, with database management system for uh, retrieve and store user information, movie uh, details, uh, and reviews. Uh, last one is content enrichment interfaces. Uh, there are two subtitles in there. Uh, one of them is web scraping. Web scraping is used to uh, extract external uh, resources from Rotten Tomatoes for uh, movie reviews. An API model is used to uh, analyze and summarize these reviews. Uh, secondly, I will uh, introduce a uh, user interface. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, our user interface class diagram. Uh, user interface is the communication between system and users. Uh, firstly, users are uh, greeted to the, uh, our sign-in sign-up page. If they have an account, they can easily sign into the, our uh, platform. If not, uh, they, ha uh, they have to go to the, uh, our register page. In our register page, there are some labels, and uh, these labels host users' information, such as name, surname, uh, password, gender, etc. 
uh, then uh, users successfully log into the R platform, uh, homepage uh, appears. In home in the homepage, there are trivia quizzes uh, that relate to, to the most popular films and recommendation sections, uh, movie lists. Also, users can uh, use search bar for uh, searching movies and uh, profiles. Uh, all users have profile page and they can customize it. Also, uh, users can uh, make their movie list according to their taste. Uh, also, uh, whole movies in our platform have a movie detail page. In the movie detail page, there are some informations about uh, movies, uh, such as uh, movie informations, uh, reviews, comments, etc. Also, users can make a comment uh, for specific films. Uh, that's all I had to say. Now, Tuberk will continue. Hi everyone, I am Tuberk, uh, a senior student in computer engineering. Today I will explain the functional and non-functional uh, requirements of our project. First of all, functional requirements. Uh, first one, user registration and login. You can register and login to the platform as users. Uh, customizable user profiles. You can create and personalize your uh, user profiles. Uh, user friendly homepage. You will see a user friendly homepage after logging in. Uh, fourth one, movie and user research. You can search for movies and other users with advanced filtering options. Fifth one, personal movie lists. Uh, manage your personal favorite and watch list movie collections. Uh, sixth one, movie rating. You can rate moving movies uh, using five star rating system uh, the other one comment management adds edit or delete comments on movie pages uh, explore user comments you can explore comments made by uh, other users follow users you can follow other users and visit their profiles other ones stay updates on new releases uh, receive updates on newly released movies uh, personalized movie recommendations, get personalized movie recommendations based on your viewing history. Uh, last one, movie pages with essential details and reviews. Access movies pages containing essential information and critic reviews. And now I will talk about uh, non-functional requirements. First one, security. Uh, strong user verification and consistent security inspections. Uh, second one, availability, 24-7 access, internet connectivity required, and planned updates to minimize disruptions. Uh, other one, performance, uh, swift responses, instant movie operations, quick transitions for trivia games, personalized recommendations, and support for multiple users. Fourth one, mod modifiability. Adaptable architecture, version control, and structure code management. Uh, fifth one, reliability, minimal minimal downtime and reduced errors. Uh, sixth one, usability, user-friendly interfaces and easy design for all users. Uh, last one, maintainability, clean readable code and smooth bug fixes and updates. Uh, these are requirements and Ali will continue now. Uh, thank you, Tuberk. Uh, I'm Ali Urlu. My department is software engineering, and I'm a fourth year student. Uh, I'm going to start with my first topic, it's use cases. Uh, in this page, you can see our uh, use case diagram, uh, but it's uh, difficult to explain it into diagram, so we'll categorize them. Uh, first of all, uh, I, I would like to say that in our system, there is only one actor, which is user. So uh, these all cases are uh, done by uh, user. Uh, our first category is user authentication. Uh, briefly, I would like to say that uh, if you want to use our system, you need to be registered into system and log logged into system. Uh, also, security is a big problem nowadays. Uh, second category is user profile and customization. Uh, in here, users can see the homepage after they logged in our system. They can uh, customize their prof profile. Uh, they can uh, obtain badges and title, uh, etc. They can customize their profile by uh, using them. 
Uh, next, uh, we have uh, search searching movies and searching users. Uh, lastly, users can uh, have account with different properties, which means that uh, users can uh, uh, update their uh, nicknames, uh, their names, their phone numbers. They can add their uh, mails and uh, house address or something. Uh, our next category is movie list and ratings. In here, users can uh, uh, use filtration system in our website, which means that they can filter their uh, movies according to gender and uh, year and something. Uh, next, we have adding and removing movies from any list. Uh, lastly, we have rating movies uh, according to five five star rating system. Next category is user engagement and user interaction. Uh, users can create, edit, and delete their comments, and they can uh, monitor these comments. Uh, lastly, users can follow uh, other users and visit their profiles. Uh, next category is move recommendation and quizzes. In here, uh, users can uh, monitor newly released movies. They can see a recommendation list. And lastly, they can perform movie-related quizzes, which I uh, mentioned before. They can customize their profile, uh, which they obtained, uh, which they get uh, titles and badges obtained from here. Uh, last category is movie information and summarization. Uh, our users can uh, monitor movie page and monitor uh, Summer, summarization of critics, uh, which uh, which is get uh, gotten by uh, gotten from uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to our my next topic, which is uh, the technologies that we are gonna use. Uh, we are gonna use ChatGPT uh, three for sum summarize movie critics, uh, JavaScript for our user interface and uh, front end. Uh, for beautiful soap, we are we are, we will use it for uh, web scrapping and getting uh, movie critics. Uh, lastly, we have .NET. We are gonna use .NET for uh, uh, basically uh, for backend and frontend. Uh, lastly, our website is isn't just a platform as we mentioned. Uh, all my friends mentioned. Uh, it's a hub for movie enthusiasts and um, movie enthusiast critics and casual viewers. So we are confident about uh, that once you understand the project's background, objects, and its architecture, uh, you will share our excitement for this project. Uh, thank you for listening. If you if you have any question, we we are we are glad to answer them.